Hey guys, it's Paul here. It's Friday, the week is over. Thank goodness. Today, all in all, wasn't a horrible day. However, the ending was really crappy. I digress, the week's over. Let's not talk about work anymore. Let's talk about this weekend. Well, let's not talk about this weekend because I'm not sure what's going on this weekend. I do know there's a trip to Columbus in store, I believe on Sunday, for a picnic. But other than that, everything's still kind of in limbo. So let's talk about today instead. I'm hungry. I got invited to go to dinner with uh, Will Lachia, who are, if you're new, uh, a couple of our best friends. Uh, they also have a girl, Lindsay and Adriana. You see them in the vlogs if you go back and watch some of the old ones. I'm sure they'll be in some of the future ones too. However, the girls are staying at their grandmother's. So, I'm going to go uh, head out to dinner with them. Kristen's at work till 9. She'll miss that. I'm sure I'll get yelled at for going without her. But it happens. Later today, we will talk about a giveaway. So, look forward to that too. So, uh, yeah. Lots of things happening today. So, come join us. Won't you? Hey, guys. Obviously, I'm not at a Chinese restaurant, so plans have changed. Uh couple things came up. Uh, Will, who uh, drives truck for a living, picked up a load. So uh, he's going to uh, head out on the road. I don't blame him. It's extra money. Every time he gets a load, he gets paid. So that's a good thing. I did come to Boardman, however. I wanted to stop at my mother-in-law's, pick up a package for Kristen. A couple things she ordered. I figured while I was here, I'd come back to Boardman Park. I showed you around here a little bit. A few videos back, a month or so, a few videos, yeah, a month or so back. Uh, but now I'm on the trail, more specifically, the walking path. I'm not doing any off-roading today, any of the actual trail trails. For instance, up here you could dart off to the side. I'm not doing that because I'm in sandals. I didn't really uh, think I was coming here to begin with. But there are trails all back here that we could take if we wanted to. And one day we will. I figured I'd come out here and get a little bit of exercise. This trail that I'm on right now is about a half mile. So if I do the loop twice, I got a mile walking. That's pretty good figuring I haven't walked for like almost a month. Well, I can't say that. Because we did a ton of walking in San Antonio. So this is kind of a continuation of that, just trying to stay in shape. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm going to go to Kristen's, oh, well, that's not Kristen's gym, the gym with Kristen. Uh, she joined the other day. It's gone a couple times already this week. So I think I'm going to go with her tomorrow afternoon, and maybe even Sunday morning, and try to get in shape a little bit more. That's one of our goals before we go on our next vacation to Orlando. We both want to lose a little bit of weight. So, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I've done about a half mile so far. Still feeling pretty good. I really do think all that walking in San Antonio was really good for us. I mean, we walked... I, I wish I would have recorded how far we walked. I would have had to say 10 miles a day. At least. So this should be nothing. There's another one of those... uh trails that kind of go off to the woody area. It is nice actually having leaves on a tree. The last couple uh, walking uh, park videos that we had, it was still kind of winter. This is a nice change of scenery. <sighs> nice change of scenery. So we're going to keep walking. What else is there to do on a Friday anyways? Well guys, I'm back in the car, on my way home. Walked a little over a mile, 1.17 miles. Took me 24 minutes to do that. Not a horrible pace. Not a very good pace either, but uh, I'm just getting back into it. Tomorrow, I think, is when I'm really gonna start uh, working out. I'm gonna hit the gym tomorrow, Sunday, maybe even Monday and Tuesday, because I'm off all four days. Although Tuesday I have some other things that I gotta get done in the morning. 
but that's a whole other story. But yeah, I think I'm really going to uh, step the game up a little bit this time, really start exercising, really lose that weight before we go on vacation. At least that's the plan. I know I said it before. We'll see how if I we'll see if I stick to it this time. Your job is to uh, make sure I do, which is kind of hard because you're far away. I understand that, but uh, yeah, just in the comments and stuff, you know, if I miss a day or if I miss something or if I'm not doing things the way you think I should, let me know. Hold me to my plan. I'd appreciate it. Well, guys, I'm back at home. I have the radio turned down because it's a weird buzzing. It's an AM channel. I'm listening to the Indians game. Uh, of course, they're on a 13-game winning streak. They're about, they're trying to set a franchise record, a 14-game winning streak. But they're tied versus the Toronto Blue Jays. It's 1-1, and it is the bottom of the 18th inning. Two full games, and it's still tied 1-1. Toronto's already said... Forget it. We're out of pitchers. They're just throwing anyone on the mound. Pretty much saying they're going to throw the game. However, the guy they put on the mound got the whole side out. So that's why we're at the bottom of the 18th. I'm going to sit here and listen to this. This is actually kind of exciting. Uh, Indians went the other route and put in another starter. So uh, it's a starter versus a guy that's never pitched before. Although the guy that's never pitched before is doing really good. So we're going to see how long this game really goes. I hope the Indians win, but if they don't, this is one hell of a way to uh, lose a game. 18 innings, wow. We'll talk to you in a little bit. So guys, back inside. Abby uh, is uh, playing on her little uh, cat tree. She loves that thing. She likes laying in that one right there. She'll just lay there and uh, watch me. Indians won. Yay, 14 in a row. They won 2-1. to one. Of a, off of a homer in the 19th inning. Holy crap, that's a long game. I think the longest game I've ever been to was like 12 or 13 innings. That was really long. This game started at 1 and just ended, and it's like 7.40. So 6 hour, 40 minute game. That's a long game. But let's uh, switch gears here. Let's talk about a giveaway. Um, as always, when we go on vacations, we uh, shop for you guys. You guys. Because uh, we think you guys deserve some stuff. So we bought you some stuff. There's a theme to this. And we'll get to that later. Because first there's a couple random things. First you'll get a postcard. Uh, these are the Travis letter. Or the Travis letter. Um, you're not going to be able to read the letter itself. But uh, it's pretty much saying, hey, we're not going to give up the fight. We're going to keep fighting. It's from the Alamo right there. It will be personalized. We will write something that has right to you. All our giveaways will start with a postcard. Next, since we went to Six Flags, we figured we'd include a park map for you guys. So you can kind of see uh, some of the stuff we went on and uh, check that out. Uh, some really cool stuff in here. Uh, really cool rides and stuff. See maybe if you want to go there or not. Next, only because it was so cool and I thought it was great, and I had to buy these for you. Rattlesnake eggs. Is that not Texas? Does that not have Texas all over it? What are they really? They are assorted jelly beans. But that's just cool. I thought that was cute. I think you guys uh, need some sugar in your life. There you go. So it's Texas. It's hot. You, you heard us complain. So we decided to get you guys a tumbler. I think that's what these are called. I really don't know. But it's from Dallas, Texas. Put your water in there. Put your pop in there. Just stay hydrated. Everyone needs to stay hydrated. You will get this also. And some of you guys might want something a little bit... What's the word I'm looking for? Stronger than water. Or pop. Some of you guys like your beer. Before that beer, we'll give you a koozie. That's not what this thing's called. Yes, it is. It's a koozie. Boy, am I not smart. This is a San Antonio koozie. You get your koozie, too, for uh, winning the prize. But, even then, some people might still need something just a little bit harder. Some hard liquor. A little bit stronger. For that, we will give you this Texas shot glass. 
So it's an all or nothing. You get the shot glass. You get the koozie. You get the tumbler. I think that's what that's called. You get the rattlesnake eggs. You get the park map. And you get the personalized postcard. What do you have to do? You have to comment in this video. Comment down below. I don't care what you comment. Comment anything you want. You comment the word comment. I think I said that last time. And a couple of you did comment the word comment. You comment the word comment again. Uh, you could comment constructive criticism. You could tell me how much I stink. I don't care. Leave a comment. Subscribe. You have to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right down here. Uh, become a subscriber. And uh, you have until Monday night at 8 o'clock to do that. We were going to draw this Monday at 8. Pretty sure we're going to draw this Monday at 8. Unless we're out somewhere doing fireworks. Or we're going to see fireworks. Might be Tuesday at 8. Either way, the deadline is Monday at 8 o'clock. You have to like this video. Well, you don't have to like the video. I prefer you like the video. But definitely subscribe right down there if you're not already subscribed. And down below, leave a comment. While you're leaving a comment, let me know where you're watching from. Why do you do the viewer map? Uh, probably on Tuesday. Enough of me rambling on. Good luck. Talk to you guys later.